<laughs> One quick thing no. I wondered about, Congressman, I interviewed you about a week before the hearings, and you said um, you thought there was going to be about half a dozen witnesses, so six witnesses. We ended up seeing the three yeah. witnesses. Was there a plan to have more? Absolutely. And um, uh, we had one tell us that, that he'd received a call from, I guess, uh, maybe the, the Pentagon, and, and he decided he or she decided that maybe it wasn't best that they were on there. We had somebody who was an affiliation with NASA and NASA will say, well, they didn't work for NASA. This is not, this is news to us, but it was one of their quasi something. I don't know. But anyway, and they, they turned us or they backed out at the end. And then we had, we had one more, I think that backed out and, you know, we, we just had so many roadblocks from even the press conference, you know, we were going to do a press conference to talk about this myself and um and three others and a, a reporter actually one of your colleagues put his microphone down and uh i was leaving the um uh, republican conference and said hey are y'all having you all having this press conference right and i said yeah it's tomorrow i think or whenever and he said uh well um you know they put you in a room that's under construction and that is it is tiny i said this is a he said this is a big deal you need to be in the main room. And I was like, what the heck's going on? So I got to check it and sure enough, and you know, and staff members blocked, you know, told us that, that David Grush wasn't reliable. And you know, it's not their position to do that. See, that is the swamp. You got somebody whispering in their ear, some contractor or some friend or, or somebody, you know, in Congress is compromised because they, they went on a trip overseas and they let their guard down and ended up getting filmed doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And that's exactly, that's exactly what the Russians would do uh, with yeah. these honeypots and our own people would do it just as well. They're just as dirty. And so I, you know, I, this whole thing just stinks from top to bottom, Brian, every step of the way they have fought us. Well, I just want to ask us. you, I'm just curious. I just want to nail down what you said, because I'm very interested. I mean, one of the witnesses that backed out at the last second, you said the Pentagon made a call. I mean, was that someone who was also a whistleblower, someone who had like firsthand knowledge of something? Yeah, we thought they did. You know, we get these names and I get names because I'm in, I've been following this, this issue for years. I mean, maybe 40 years. I was a kid, 50 years, I guess. Um, and so these names keep popping up and the, you, you read about them, you research them. They're, they're decorated veterans. They've, uh, and they want to talk and they might want to talk. And then you, you get a hold of them and they say, in fact, yes, I do want to come talk. And then uh, lo and behold, they, they start backing out, you know, and I'm, I'm told by reliable people, I need to be careful and, and you know, and I don't know what I'm doing. And, and, uh, you know, other Congress members telling me, uh, that, you know, they actually have had several congressmen pretty reputable congressmen tell me they've had sightings and they're, they've described some pretty interesting things that have happened to them. Mm. And, you know, and, and, but they, they wanted, I said, you want to come talk about it? And I said, no, we, I want to be anonymous, but I want you to know that I'm, I'm not against you on this thing because I have seen something that was not, yeah, I think I could not describe. I think there's still an embarrassment factor, but it seems like that's changing. Yeah. Uh, Congressman Burkett. That's changing. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say thank you so much for, for coming on tonight. Thank you for being so open with us throughout this entire process. Um, and, and we look forward to talking more and continuing to, to cover the topic. Thanks for, for coming on. Thank you, Brian. You can always call me Tim. And if it wasn't for y'all at News Nation, this thing will probably wouldn't have broke because of your persistent uh, nature on this issue. And it is very important. Over, over half America thinks we're not alone. And I just can't imagine in God's great, incredible universe that we're the best that he can do. Yeah, well, we'll stay on it. It'll be interesting to see what else comes out. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, Congressman. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.